Colorado is dealing with a worsening outbreak of RSV along with spikes in flu and COVID cases. A disaster declaration for hospitals tonight means they can access federal money if more help is needed. The latest health department data shows 167 children are now hospitalized with RSV. Olivia Young talked with a family whose toddler spent a week in the hospital with RSV and Olivia, my goodness, that has to be so frightening for those parents. Certainly, Kelly, and for adults, RSV will probably look like a mild cold, but for very young children, it can be extremely dangerous. That Longmont family told me the heart-wrenching saga of their child getting sick. When 18-month-old Ronan Darnell's apparent cold got worse, his family took him to the ER. There, they were told Ronan had the RSV virus. It's an incredible spike right now, and it's across the nation. National Jewish Health's Chair of Pediatrics, Dr. Pam Zeitlin, says every children's hospital she knows of is currently overwhelmed by RSV patients. Well, yeah, I am shocked at the number of children over the age of two who are coming into our triage unit or are being seen in emergency rooms around the city. RSV symptoms are similar to a cold, but can progress to pneumonia and can be especially serious in infants and the elderly. Given the current spike, the CDC predicts up to 500 children will die from RSV this year. They become very short of breath, uh, breathe too fast, start to cough, wheeze, and even grunt to breathe. Uh, then you know that they're having trouble and it's time to have them be seen. Those are the exact symptoms Ronan had after his RSV diagnosis. Two days later, we went back because he was breathing weird and was his color was weird and we found out he had also pneumonia. Ronan was put on antibiotics and a BiPAP ventilator. Try really, really hard not to break down in the ER. After a week in the hospital, Ronan finally came home. <laughs> Back. He's back at daycare and he's playing and dancing mm -hmm. and yeah, we had a dance party on the other side of every parent's worst nightmare. The Darnells want other families to be prepared. If you know there's something not right with your kiddo, mm -hmm. take them in. The good news is the strategies to prevent RSV are the same ones we've grown familiar with thanks to COVID. Wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough, and if you do symptoms wear a mask around others. In Denver, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First.